In this week's portion, we read a very strong warnings and admonitions. And one of them is that if you behave towards me casually, what does that mean? Rabbi Zalman Sarutskin explains it's a person who goes through life and says, well, what a coincidence. This is a coincidence. This is a coincidence. And life is a series of coincidences. Actually, in Judaism, in Jewish theology, there is no room for the thought of coincidences. Everything is divinely ordained. The Talmud tells us that even if somebody stubs their finger, it's divinely ordained. Everything in life is a challenge, a situation that will bring us benefit and help us to grow. Let me cite an example of a happening. Ruth, the great-great-grandmother of King David, she's poverty-stricken. She comes back from the land of Moab with her mother-in-law, Naomi, and Naomi says to go out and glean from the fields because needy people are entitled to take from the corners of the fields and gleanings. And it just so happened, it says in the book of Ruth, that she went to a parcel of land that belonged to Boaz. Boaz was descended from Judah. Boaz married Ruth. And from that union came King David. And from that union will come the Davidic dynasty and the Messiah. All because it just happened that she happened to choose that field. Nothing just happens. I mean, that's giant, the dynasty of King David. But all of us have giant happenings in our lives. There are no coincidences. So every, every day, let us rejoice. Zehayom, asher osa Hashem. This is the day that Hashem made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice with the divine hand in all of our activities as we go through life day to day. Have a beautiful Shabbos.